Bicarbonate as the most basic form of chemotherapy. Basic because it's non-toxic and has very specific effects on the body that make great conditions that are not favorable to cancer. It has a long history, but the most recent research of cancer and bicarbonate talks about it um, forcing uh, cancer cells to turn back on the circadian rhythm that they turn off. Circadian rhythm is the pulse of life, basically 12 hours activity, eating, whatever, and 12 hours of relaxation, regeneration, recuperation. The cancer cells turn off the clock so they can eat 24-7 and become as aggressive as possible. So bicarbonate, by turning, forcing cancer cells to turn back on the clock, put them at a disadvantage. We all know that cancer cells are using a very dirty form of metabolism, fermentation, using a set of oxygen, using glucose, and it puts out a lot of lactic acid and surrounds the cells, the cancer cells with lactic acid. And the lactic acid makes it makes the uh, killer T cells very lazy and makes it difficult, almost impossible to penetrate into tumors. Bicarbonate neutralizes the, the, the acid the lactic acid, and allows and activates the killer T cells. And the killer T cells are like the Marines in the immune system in the body. And it's their job to go in and wipe out the cancer cells. So bicarbonate has an effect on the immune system, strengthens the immune system, which makes perfect sense because the immune system will work better under alkaline conditions than acid conditions. So it's a basic medicine like magnesium. It's one of the reasons I like magnesium bicarbonate water as the best form of drinking water, which you can buy as a concentrate or make yourself at home using magnesium hydroxide and a soda machine to inject with CO2 gas. As I've said many times through the many years, bicarbonate is an important medicine. It's not natural medicine. It's not alternative medicine. It's real medicine. It's a medicine that counts. It's a medicine that won't hurt you. And it's a crime that doctors don't talk about it more. Doctors are just addicted to pharmaceuticals. Even the best doctors who are talking against the mRNA vaccines, they talk about ivermectin, fibenzanol, I don't mention bicarbonate. And there happened to be one study here in Brazil during the COVID years where a hospital used bicarbonate to cure patients of COVID. So it's a broad acting medicine that helps the, the body recover terrain, become healthier, so it's better equipped to fight off disease. And not that old age is a disease, but bicarbonate deficiencies, which increase with old age, are addressed with bicarbonate, not with a pharmaceutical. If you want to go deeper with me, follow me on Substack. You can join for free and receive my newsletters and weekly videos, or become a paid subscriber to access all my exclusive content. The link is in the description.